All right, what's going on, gamers? Welcome back to play the maps. Uh, the interest of these always blow because I'm not used to speaking whenever I do it. Normally, when I like stream and stuff, I'll like, you know, I'll kind of mosey into speaking again. So I'll like I'll get more comfortable with it, and there'll be like chat feedback and stuff. But this with this there isn't it. It's really uncanny. It's it's been one of my least favorite parts of of making videos for pretty much as long as I've been doing it, uh, which isn't long, but like just speaking and not having any immediate feedback is really honestly uncomfortable. I don't, I don't think people <laughs> you don't really realize that until you start doing it. You're just kind of talking into a microphone and there's no response, and you're just mm, it, it feels real. Feels real weird, but today we're on Swiftwater. Uh, I like this map a lot. I hope this is a good game. We're on Uncle Topia because there's a thing or two going on in casual. I think like Athlete's Foot is going around or something, so we're here. And uh, that means we're going to be playing against much better players than normal. So we'll see how this goes. This is my favorite spot on Swiftwater is by either here or this tree to start because people don't really shoot here very often. And the Cloak and Dagger allows me to really. I think there's a mini sentry over there. The Kulkenegger lets me really like sit and wait for the blue team to actually push out of here. It's it's great on, on payload defense for that reason. Yeah, he, he knows the tree's effective as well. Let's see if... Uh, that's a spooky decloak spot, because I got a lot of... My time of exposure would be massive if any of you guys watched our bill. Uh, that actually makes things pretty tough. Maybe I can just do this and maybe surf out of there or something. Nope. We're shot. We're shot. Oh my god, we're fine. <laughs> oh man. I can't decloak here because people are looking. They're just kind of walking by. Uh, maybe I can like... I would love to grab that health kit, man. That's real unfortunate. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's that's the trouble of the spy. You gotta find a good spot, time to decloak and stuff, and it's it's uh harder than you think. All right, after after the first like point though, or e even just my first life, honestly, on payload defense, I like to swap back to normal watch because it lets me do more different things. I only really use the cloak and dagger when there's when blue has like a stronghold on an area, and that's obviously always the case when it's their spawn. Let's see if we can like drop this guy or something. Okay. Yep, okay, well, I... Yep, sure. Oh, nice. Good shit, Sniper. Oh, we're gonna run out of cloak in a bit of a funky spot here. If you could destroy this... Oh, thank you, Soldier. See if we can... I'm sorry, Scout, but I could really use the health. Taunting players I try not to kill, but, you know, if I'm playing Kunai, I need to survive, man. Okay, okay. Whoop. Bit of a tougher opponent. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Grab that little bit of ammo. Let's uh, go back into it. See if we can snag somebody here. Kind of cool if we can get that sniper. Okay, okay. Oh, surfed it. Oh god, this is a stressful game. These guys are hard to backstab. Yep, yeah, okay, well, that's fine. Alright, we're doing good, though. We're doing okay. Yeah, this, this team has pretty good positioning. Positioning is a lot of the game when it comes to how to not get backstabbed. Uh, I'm not sure why these guys are taking the far route here. There's probably going to be like a heavier something turn in the corner. Nope, he's going that way, okay. No, I'm a real boy. I don't know, I guess I'll sit here. This is real, not smart, because they can see my outline and stuff, but we, we're kind of taking over this area. So, we'll sit here until we have about half meter, and then we can go in and maybe try to get the ammo kit right over there. Not get direct hit. Okay, cool, there's one right there. Mm, yep, okay. <laughs> Practice your jumps. Because when it matters, it really matters. Alright, uh... I don't know, I guess I'll just try to get these guys. This is a real risky play. 
I could have gone for more there, but I was almost sure they were going to turn around. And a pyro and a soldier isn't like the best opponent to just take head on. Okay, let's see if we can get this pyro, maybe. He's probably going to be dead, though. Yeah. Or at least ran off somewhere. All right, take this wide so we don't bump into anyone. We're fine. Uh, it would be good to take out that teleporter, wouldn't it? But it's going to be tough because people are respawning. Let's just go through. I could have camped that pretty reasonably, actually. Okay. Sapper, <laughs> don't use your scroll wheel for things. Pro tip. Oh, wow. Right place at the right time. Well, that, that, that was really lucky. Let's, let's try to take care of these guys. There's a heavy up here who we could really use dead. Oh. Okay, thanks, soldier. Saved my ass. <laughs> well, we're doing pretty good, actually. That was a really great like little sequence of events there. We took down the teleporter. We took down crit soldier and a medic. Okay, we can definitely get a backstab here. Get you. Get you. Nope. Uh, I, I'm really surprised that medic just went for me, but it worked out. That's fine. We're, we're doing good. Big terminal indeed. We're doing pretty good. Uh, oh, there's a victor ball. There's a spy spy. Behind you, medic. Here's your communication. All right, we're not gonna cloak until we get over here, just so we can save it. It's always better to cloak too early than too late, but when you're among a, a, a horde of teammates, you're probably fine. Hmm, this is kind of risky. Nice shot, damn. Nice. Alright, uh, I could go for that guy, but it's really quiet, so he'll probably hear me decloak. Oh, this is a bad spot to be in. We're just gonna hide here. Maybe we can get lucky. Oh. Someone saw my outline, I think. Or maybe they saw me before, I don't know. I'm not sure how that sniper had eyes on me, but whatever, we're fine. Demo's over there, so he's gonna be drawing some fire. Oh, okay, well. That's not what I expected to happen. Yep, okay. <laughs> you can kind of play with that. Uh, what my plan was there, when they killed that demo man, what enemies often do is once they take care of an enemy, they kind of go back into like a neutral state where they're, they'll they find something to do. And that next task after that neutral state is rarely ever f like look for a spy. Once they kill an enemy, they'll often go back and it's like, whew, okay, the danger's gone now for at least a few seconds. And that's... So even if the enemies don't take care of one of your spies, that means that they probably won't look for spies for, like a, again, like a second or two. It's not a lot of time, but it's often enough to do something. Fire. So keep an eye out for that. Whenever like an enemy goes deep, and or a teammate goes deep, and they get killed by a few enemies, you'll often have a, a moment to do something. Yeah, okay, let's just get you. Please. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't think so, yeah. It's hard to chase down enemy spies because they're, uh, they're spies, so they're going to move as fast as you. But it's fine. All right, yeah, we're doing, we're doing quite well, I'd say. Holding them back. Uh, doing what we can. We're not really focusing anyone right now, though. I've, I've kind of noticed we're just kind of running around and stabbing the people who come up, but, but yeah. My team is quite good right now, so we don't really need to, to really focus. As long as we're stabbing dudes, we're probably doing a decent job. Like this sniper, for example, he's pretty good, so keeping him down is, is important. Alright. Well, that was a solid game of spies. 17 and 4, that's that's very nice. It's real easy to run, like, a <laughs> at least an even KD of spies, so... Anything better than that is nice. 
All right. So the hope is um, we don't have to roll this. Also, by the way, I, I muted people just because I don't want to mute people. But when I'm like speaking or streaming or recording, I, I, I don't want to like talk over people. So I'm sorry, Adam Quinn, if you watch this, I didn't mute you because I don't like you or Bardock. I, I just mute people because I'm, I'm recording a video and it's, it's, it's easiest to hear me when other people aren't speaking. I apologize. Whenever I stream, I always make sure to clarify that I'm meeting people just because I'm streaming, not because I don't like them, because I don't want to seem mean. All right. Yeah, the, the hope is we don't just roll this, because I'd love to have a, a better game. Maybe if we start to roll, I can join the enemy team and help out, because I, I, I much prefer, like, an interesting game to anything else, no matter what side of the, the game that I'm on. All right, let's see what they got here. Looks like they got a pretty standard setup for Swift Water. So nothing special. We'll uh, go up top there and use that verticality to get a good stab, hopefully. Don't get killed instantly by like a rocket or a demo knight. Okay. Oh, awkward. Thank God that demo knight didn't come to chase me. All right, we're going to go up there, drop down, and maybe kill somebody. Ooh, or... Ah, he saw me. Gotta move quick, gotta move quick. Oh, medic blocked me. Okay, well, that really didn't go as planned, but we took down a heavy, so that that's fine. All right, well, I know the NG's got stuff set up in here for sure. I'm not quite sure what I can do about all that. It looks like, though, we I don't really need to do anything about it. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're kind of getting them good. Let's move on. Yeah, if, if we start to roll here, I'll probably just join the enemy team like halfway through the game. Come on, charge me. Uh, I was really hoping that demo would charge me. What are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Cool. Uh and she definitely saw me. Nope. Ah, uh, <laughs> Nobody knew what to do there, including me. I saw the soldier and I went for him, but he turned a little bit and then I had to... I think I had the NG for a second, I don't know. You gotta be ready. You always gotta be ready to, to stab when you're moving around, because you don't know when the enemy's gonna turn. No matter how good you are at trick-stabbing, you ultimately don't know if someone's gonna fall for it. You're just kind of hoping. And that, that wasn't really a trick-stab attempt either, it was just kind of like rotating around and praying. Yeah, help him out, bro. Come on. Be a homie. Alright, um, we'll try to get the sniper. Er, hmm. I got it. Let's see if we can drop that medic or something, maybe. Nope. Heavy saw me. Yeah, that was a really not great decloak spot. I got a bit too confident. <clears throat> Excuse me, just taking a sip of my water. Huntsman S. Thompson. Alright, sorry, soldier. I gotta take this. You got rocket jumps. I don't. Alright, uh, that medic still has full Uber. Oh. Thank you, ammo. Uh. Good lord, we survived. <laughs> the funniest thing is, so much happened there, and the only thing that happened is I got one stab. I stabbed the heavy. But that's how it goes. But may maybe we caused the distraction. Maybe we did something else. That's the heavy we stabbed, yep. Right, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll, I'll just see if there's someone right here, maybe. Yeah, that, that engineer was in a really unfortunate position. We got the sentry, I guess. It's not really that valuable of a pick, because it looked like we probably could have gotten it anyway. Oh. Damn. Uh, looks like this, fortunately, isn't the role I was expecting it to be. But there's a pretty good chance. Oh, no, we got the back teleporter set up. I don't know how I feel about that. 
because of the way that like doors are closed and stuff, back teleporters here can be useful, but I very often see them lose blue the game actually. Cause like that's the only place we can push through with that thing. We only have that little tunnel. And I don't see people coming through right now. So what's happening is we just have no front offensive right now. Okay. I didn't deserve that whatsoever. Uh, yeah, that energy saw me, I think. They have three engineers. That's going to be tough. See, like, I, I we aren't even pushing them right now. We're just sitting around. Uh, I guess I'll go in here. May I get the Senji? Maybe get this guy. Ah, damn. We'll set this, I guess. Try to make this jump. Actually, let's just walk in here. This is a situation to be in. Not getting away with this, he's gonna turn around. Really? You didn't hear that sapping? I am very surprised. Get away from that guy. I see, like, we're, we're pushing from there, but it doesn't do much good for the way the enemy has their stuff positioned. Oh! How unfortunate is that? Quite so. Win soldier, get him. No, he had, like, two health. Okay, well, we got the point, so... We got the W, I guess, but situation really didn't play out how I wanted it to. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, what are you doing? Wait for you to get the health. Nope. Okay, you didn't get the health back. Bruh. <laughs> this guy's got to go. Okay, well, he left. Uh, actually, do they have a... I heard the Eureka effect. Do they have, like, a teleporter behind us? I don't see him anywhere, so... If it's anywhere, it's probably within this building. We'll, we'll take a quick peek through. I really... Yep, okay. No, he's gotta die, actually, because if he's alive, that means he can replace it. Got that, and then... It's probably... Where is it? Exciting gameplay here. It's probably up top then. Wow, someone knew how, knows how to hide the teleporter. <laughs> Good thing we're pushing all right without me. Chances are someone who's watching the video right now already saw it and they're screaming at me for being a dumbass, but at this point, I don't think they're going to do much with it. It's whatever. Let's let's play the game. <laughs> it looks like he's building sentries like normal anyway. Maybe actually probably that demo probably got it. All right, let's uh get something here. Hmm? Shall we? Let's dance. Let's boogie woogie. Got him trick stab. Got you. Oh, damn, spy. The fire. Ah. <laughs> uh, he expected me to do that. I'm impressed. Alright, well, not as exciting of a second game, but we're doing alright. Our 20 minutes so far. It's funny, this episode will probably be a lot shorter than others, just because, um... Others, I've done a lot of, like, two gamers or whatever, two rounders. But this one, you know, it's, it's swift water. Two rounds would mean, like, an hour-long video, maybe. Which is a lot. Right, uh... Circle around you. Uh, go take this wide so we don't bump into anybody.
Let's not get that sniper. Getting that sniper would mean we just get the sniper and probably no one else. Oh, that was so unfortunate. Because if we stay at the sniper and then like the heavy turns around, what have we accomplished really? Getting the heavy and the medic are definitely the most important. The sniper's good, but he's not our top priority right now. Okay, the energy did not see us. Let's take this corner real. No! No! <laughs> I stabbed him. You heard the stab sound. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Uh, you guys heard the little... <laughs> that sucks. Well, that's that's whatever. It seems like we have seven minutes. It doesn't seem like it. We do have seven minutes. So, no rush to pull things off, but it would have been nice. Let's just kill you. And get that medic killed. <laughs> Distracting people as spy is one of his most important duties. It leads to a little medic fix like that. Not really a pick, but a, a dead medic, regardless. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I guess that's the video. I didn't expect it to be. Well. Thanks for watching. Uh, I, I was really caught off guard by that. <laughs> thanks for checking it out. Um, sorry it's taken a bit to get these out, but that's fine, I guess. You can't sue me for it, I think. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, shit. I'm so caught off guard by that. I was, I was waiting to like have like a big push, and I'm like, okay, well, good. Better prepare the outro. Um, yeah, my next uh, main channel video is being worked on. It's uh, not too far along in production, but it is really good. It's going to be my best video, undoubtedly. Um, it'll be a big-ass project. Uh and yeah, I guess I'll see you all around. Thanks for stopping by the second channel.